Okay, so today on Holmes How Do I, we're going to solve a little issue of how do I sweat copper pipe? How do I solder it together if I have to replace a faucet or replace a section of pipe or repair something? Maybe a line froze and you have to take out a section and put it back in. How do I put all these connectors back together? So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to show you how to take your solder, flux, torch, and a few extra tools and create the section of pipe that you need and get it soldered. So let's dive in. All right, first things first, what happens if you got to cut a piece of pipe? So this is just a simple little rigid pipe cutter. Right? It's made to get in compact spaces. Pretty simple. You measure out how long of a piece of pipe you need. This just goes over it. It's got this little wheel that as you cut, it'll actually press into the copper. Now this is for copper pipe only. So let's make it a little bit longer. So as you tighten it, it'll tighten it. And you'll see that it slowly scores it. So pass it around it. Make a few more passes. Tighten it up a little bit more. You'll see that it's slowly digging into the copper. And every time you twist it, you'll feel it loosen up a little bit more. Tighten it up a little bit. But just walk it around, just keep tightening it, then eventually it pops off. It's not like a saw, it doesn't leave a big bird edge. Right? So, okay, so I got this little piece of emery cloth. And emery cloth really is just a really, really fine sandpaper made from metal. And we're just going to... And it's always good, so I got these little acid brushes, or you can take anything round. And I always just give the inside, just do the elbow. Just give the inside just a little, just clean. Now they make wire brushes for this as well. You can buy a wire brush, it'll do the inside and outside. It almost looks like a battery terminal cleaner. Just to clean the inside and outside a little bit and you blow it out. Okay, so we're gonna just we're just gonna hold this in a vise. There's two types of plumbing solder. There's a flux core and there's a flux less core, and that's the you typically you buy these in a kit, little kit of flux, and that's what the little brush is for. So you just take a little bit on your brush. It doesn't take much and just put it on a pipe it's a little cold out in the garage so I'm gonna put just a little bit inside the tube you can use your finger just as long as your fingers are clean now you're gonna find it depending on where you bought it sometimes these are loose and sometimes these are tight. These are on the tight side. Okay, so the trick to soldering of the pipe is don't overheat it. So I'm just using the basic propane torch, nothing fancy. This one is just, you open the valve, trigger, and what you're going to do is you're just going to heat up the pipe a little bit. Now the whole trick to this is to not overheat the pipes. So you're going to just heat it up just enough to solder it and then grab a paper towel or a rag. You're going to use that as well. Once this is hot enough, 
the solder will actually suck right into the joint. So you're just gonna get this hot enough. Trick is to not overheat. You heat the whole thing up. Now I'll show you what to do if you're trying to do this next to a piece of wood. Let's say you're in a basement. So, let's put the solder on. It'll wick all the way around it. Take a towel and wipe it off. All right, so that's the do. All right, you can see it sucked right in, went right around real easy. So let me go to the do not. Okay, so this piece, I'm gonna show you what happens when you overheat. Because what'll happen is if you overheat these tubes, they'll stop taking solder. So this one I'm gonna purposely overheat. Now we, saw, we flux this one and everything. And you can see inside of there, that flux is starting to boil. And you can see by the color of that copper, this happens fast. Okay. So this pipe is pretty hot. And when I touch this, you can see how the solder just runs off the edge. It's because it's not going up inside of there. So if you go to do this, and you get that result, then what you're going to have to do is take it all apart, use the emery, and get all that off there, or just totally replace that section. Right, so when that gets overheated, there's not a whole lot you can do with it. So you can see that how it just boils out of there. That's because we overheated this pipe. You can see the difference between the one that's too hot and the one that's not. You can see how we get good penetration all the way around it. Well, this one, it just kind of just, I'll say, ran off of it like water. So once again, let me show you. Okay, so one more time. We're just gonna solder this joint. It's already been cleaned and fluxed. And so we're gonna try to heat it all the way around just a little bit. Remember, not heavy heating. You're just gonna heat the tube up just enough. And while you're doing this, if you wanna test and see if you're there, just touch your solder every now and then. This is just a propane torch. You can use MAP gas. It'll heat up a little hotter faster. But I would advise possibly just using propane. Right. We're getting close. Try to get all the way around that pipe. Don't sit in one spot. Right. Heat up that fitting. That's what you're mainly wanting to get hot because that's how it's going to suck that solder in. Right. So there it is. It just Just around it, wipe it off with the rag. That's it. You're going to occasionally run into this issue of you got a pipe right by a board. So I've mocked this up here. And you can see real quick the issue. I'm going to heat up the fitting, but I'm burning the board. Right? So, don't want to do that. They make these little plumber's mats. These little plumber mats you buy, I don't know, they're probably like $10 or so. But you buy them, and you set them behind the area that you're trying to sweat. Now, there's going to be times you may not be able to get all the way around. So we'll heat it up. And here's the joy of these little mats. They'll take direct heat. And you won't harm the wood. Right, so what we can do is we can heat the fitting up. You're going to say, well, I can't get all the way around it. Well, you'll heat it up. Copper is very conductive. So it'll, it'll translate 
all the way around. So you'll heat this up. Now you may not be able to wipe the back side of it off, but you'll heat this fitting up the best you can. You can see how that mat's taking up all the heat. That way in the middle of the night, that board that's charred doesn't start on fire. Right? And then when you're there, just... I would say I probably, I'm probably right on the verge of too hot on that fitting. But you can see it actually went in real good. And if I could clean it, right? it went all the way around real good. You can see it went all the way around. So that fitting, I was just on the edge of possibly too hot. But that's where these little mats come in handy so you don't burn the wood. And afterwards, you see I'm touching it. I just heated it up. You can see where it turned red. So these little mats, I'll put in the description, I'll put this little mat, some flux, and everything so you can do this at home. But it's a pretty easy job. Anybody can do it. Just go to a hardware store. It was 13 bucks for a couple fittings and a small piece of copper pipe. Go buy some fittings and some pipe and just practice in your garage. You know, you'll have to buy the little uh, propane t torch and that's about it. So go buy yourself a little propane torch. Now these are really nice with the handle, with the push button, the, the igniter. But if you want the striker, you can do that too. That's going to be your most expensive part of this. And Get a couple fittings, you know, just go pick up some cheap fittings at the hardware store and practice a little bit. Alright, so that's been another edition of Holmes How Do I, where sweating copper pipe, anybody can do it. I showed you how to do it just freestanding and as if you were up against a, uh, a stud. And if you like this type of content, please check out some of the other videos that will pop up and we'll see you on the next fix. This is Home Saw Do I.